Hey guys, welcome to the video. So in today's video, we're looking at converting your uh, HPI Savage GTXL6 Flux um, or Savage Octane platform into an electric platform using the Draco Electric Conversion Kit. So uh, in front of me, I have a, a basic uh, GTXL6 platform. Uh, you can see it has the these different TVPs that were released. The XL and the Flux are very similar to each other except this is the Flux which has the mounting spots for the uh, battery boxes and uh, but the gearbox is the same and uh, the radio box is the same. Um, I don't have the uh, motor plate installed so there is a motor plate that would be here but yeah basically the center section here is different to the other savages but the front and rear clips are the same so that that is what matters yeah okay so first things first um, you will not be using any of the components here in the center section which includes the radio box the uh, gearbox and the motor plate and so on so you don't need this entire center section and again uh, this is not complete but you get the idea. This whole thing is not usable in the conversion. Uh, one reason is the radio box here, or radio box and servo mounting section, is not compatible with my TVPs or the uh, later model, sorry, the earlier model TVPs. So you, you'll have to remove that. And yeah, the gearbox mounting positions are different to the, let's say, Savage X. Or Savage XL K5.9, etc. So yeah, this is a different platform that was released after the K5.9 and so on. Right. So we will be removing this entire section. Another thing that's very important are the dog bones. So the front dog bone is very different to the other platforms because it is shorter. It is 70.5 millimeters long. So the part number for this would be 109907. Uh, so this dog bone is not uh, compatible with my conversion kit. It is too short. So you will need to go to the uh, standard 78 millimeter or 77 millimeter um, dog bone. Um, the part number is just at the bottom of your screen. Um, I don't have this in stock, so you'll have to uh, order this yourself from uh, A Main or HRP. But yes, the rear dog bone is the same. It is 142 millimeters, and you can purchase this from my store, or you can reuse the one that you have if you have an XL. Yeah, so this is an XL length, so you can just reuse the rear, but you'll need a new front one with my kit. It's all very confusing. There are many platforms. Okay, so um, I have my newer generation clips installed. So that means that it's the one piece bulkhead rather than the previous uh, Savage 21, 25 and SS um, bulkhead that's multiple piece. Okay, so this is the platform. Now let's quickly look at the conversion kit. Right, so here is the conversion kit, um, just roughly assembled. You have the center div set in the center here. Um, I'm also offering pre-assembled uh, center differentials um, with 500,000 CST or 1 million CST. Uh, this is uh, includes the Draco diff case as well. So and the HPI genuine spider gears inside. Yeah, um, and then you can see the Draco TVPs, Savage XL TVPs, and then the radio boxes. Um, so all of this is included in the conversion kit um, and you have some optional extras so you can use the rear ESC mount which will mount here and these two holes uh, this is included in the center diff set but this is optional so uh, you can have both mounting options if you wish I recommend the rear because it has more access to the um, gears yeah Right, and because it's the GTXL6 platform, you cannot use the radio box. So you will need the 
um, stock radio box or my radio box. Now what I mean by that is uh, this radio box that's included with the later model um, platforms so that would that is directly compatible here or um, you can get the optional Draco carbon fiber servo plate and the 3d printed radio box to add to it so this is also in my store if you wish to add that to your order okay so first we are going to uh, remove the front and rear clips from the previous platform and then install them into this so let's go ahead and do that all right guys so i have the front and rear clips separated from the octane or gtxl6 platform and then i have the draco ck or electric conversion kit in front of us so now we just put the front and rear clips on here and you can see i have the um, newer version radio box part number at the bottom of the screen and uh, yeah you can use this or you can use the draco servo plate and radio box right so let's go ahead and assemble all right so um, we can remove the boxes uh, so we can have better access to um, the platform um, and then we can slide this over so start by putting that in this position so it sits on the bottom and then we can pull the TVPs aside to slide over there we go. okay and then it clicks together right and then we can put the rear on okay there we go right and then you would go ahead and screw in these two screws on this side on that side and then up here and then you could screw in these two screws here that will fit the radio box right and then uh, with the uh, battery boxes um, i have included um, three by 12 millimeter button head screws to mount these mounts to the tvps and then i've also included uh, some more three by 12 button head screws to mount these parts of the battery boxes onto the mounts and then three by tens for the bottom so just keep an eye on the difference in length between some of the screws i'm not going to mount it but you get the idea it sits there you've got all these screws in and then if you wish to have the rear mount you put that there uh, remove the center esc mount for better access then your, your motor will go here and um, yeah everything's mounted ready to go so now we just need to do the front and rear dog bone so as i mentioned before you will need the longer 78 millimeter front dog bone and then of course the uh, standard savage xl rear dog bone which is in my store if you wish to add this so because you have the draco center diff set you can access the bottom of of the set to remove the center diffs, uh, the center differential so remove these four screws let it focus there we go um, i'm also testing out my own uh, draco uh, screwdriver so i'm um, prototyping some tools as well Hopefully you guys will be interested in those in the future. Okay, and then pull that off. Take out the, this is just a, a semi-assembled center diff, but yeah, that would be not moving like that usually. Make sure, oh, fell out again. Make sure the dog bone, the front dog bone's in first in the rear dog bone second and then you fit yeah there we go okay it's a little fiddly there we go okay it's installed yeah okay that's correct and then we would put this back on 
and do these up. You do not want to over tighten these, so just get them down snug, all four. And there we go. And then I give them, just using my fingers, I just give it a quarter turn. Not too tight. Because it's squishing the plastic, um, these screws don't tend to back out. Um, or I've never had them back out. So, <coughs> right. So that is done. So, of course, it's missing a few parts, but you get the idea. Um, ESC here or ESC here if you wish to use the rear mounted ESC and battery boxes radio box and uh, you have yourself uh, now you have yourself a flux so another point would be the front and rear differential so these would need to be upgraded if you were going to run a flux um, and I highly recommend using the HPI uh, bulletproof 299 gear sets. Uh, the part number is just on your screen. Um, so upgrading these, and then also if you wish to upgrade further, I have the Draco diff case available, or you could use the standard HPI alloy diff case. Right. Right. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, that is the end of the video. So converting your Octane or uh, GTXL six flux to a more standard flux yeah um, any questions or comments leave them in the comment section for me and uh, see you in the next video